Hello everyone, this is Devin Bird here and we're going to see how we can get this dialogue option to pop up at a certain point in time within our dialogue manager. So let's create a script called dialogue option options and let's open that up. And so for those of you who haven't seen my first er uh, video on how to make a dialogue system I suggest you watch that first but if you haven't um, I will quickly show you the dialogue base this is the dialogue base you can copy this real quick and we're going to derive that in this script so it's going to drive from dialogue base we can delete all of this And with just that, we're also going to do one more thing. Copy paste this, put that here. And then instead of menu name dialogues, we're gonna call this dialogues options or dialogue options. And new dialogue option like that and with just this you'll see that we can create a new dialogue options right off the bat we'll call this dialogue option test and it has everything that uh, the normal dialogue has cool see all right, so from here, we're going to go into our dialog manager. All right, so I have a dialog manager, and this uh, dialog manager is going to be based off of the first video I made. Um, if you haven't seen that, again, go watch it, but you can just copy real quick. And boom. All right, let's get started. Um, so first, we need to know if we are in a dialogue option so the way we do that we put an if and then we say if db is dialogue options and there with just that we'll know if the incoming dialogue is a dialogue option so if it is um, we'll make some private variable boolean call it is dialog option and then we'll make that true and then we'll put an else statement make it false okay so now all we need to do is go to the end of the dialogue and we say if dialogue op is dialogue options equal to true then we'll show the UI for it and so we need to set a reference to that so we'll make a public game object and call it dialogue option U, UI get this and set active true and that should be all we need so we're going to go grab our dialogue option test that we just made and um, Let's just make a couple lines. Uh, and we'll say line one, line two, line three, last one. Okay, cool. And we're gonna go to our test object and drop our dialogue option here. If you don't have a test object, uh, I'll show you the script real quick. 
basically all it is is um, we have a reference to a dialogue and then we trigger the dialogue in our dialogue manager and we pass through this in so well let's get rid of that real quick so this is all you need just gonna copy that real quick and you're gonna create another object called test object And then you're going to put the test script on it and then put uh, the dialog option test we just made. So let's, one last thing is we go to our manager with our dialog manager and we're going to drop in our dialog options holder into the dialog option UI that we just made. So we're going to set that uh, to unactive. We're going to press space, open up our UI, line 1, line 2, line 3, and then once we hit next line, it should pop up. Boom. And so there we have our dialog option pops up at the end of our dialog. Last thing we want to do is we want to check if we are already inside of a dialog. Because right now, I'll show you what happens if we try to open up the dialog while we already have it open it's going to just mess up like this and so we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to create a private variable called in dialog and we'll check if we are in dialog or not and if we are well we just simply return so and if we're not we'll make it in dialog equal to true and at the very end when we exit out in dialog So let's try that again. We'll try to open up a dialog multiple times. And give me pressing spacebar and nothing's happening. So cool, that's all we need for now. In the next video, we're going to hook up some logic towards our options and we'll modify the amount of options that there are. So see you next time.